Howdy all! Today I'm going to be going through the missions in both campaigns culminating in the Object 279E and the 260. I won't be covering every mission, just the ones that I think are the most challenging, and I'll give my tips as well as some pointers for the best tanks to use. Let's start off with some broader knowledge that is important. You do not have to complete the secondary conditions of any of these missions in order to receive the tank. The only thing that matters is completing the primary condition. Complete the primary of missions 1 to 14 to unlock the 15th, then complete the primary condition of the 15th to get what you need for the tank. Do that for all mission types, and you can receive the tank without ever having to complete a secondary condition. If you just want the tank, as soon as you complete the primary, move on to the next mission. Now, for missions 1 to 14, the only benefit to completing the secondary condition is the simple rewards provided listed below. However, mission 15s offer as their reward for the secondary condition, campaign orders. These orders can be used to complete the primary condition of any mission. Now, this is particularly prudent to know because if, for example, there's a particular class or mission type that you really don't want to do the missions for, you have an alternate option. By completing the secondary conditions of mission 15 for all of the others, you acquire enough campaign orders to complete the primary condition of the remaining mission 15 and get the tank. Note that you do not have to complete any of the previous 14 missions in order to use campaign orders to complete mission 15. So if you intend to use campaign orders, you can just complete mission 15 without doing 1 to 14. This principle is why I will only be covering the secondary conditions when talking about a mission 15 in these campaigns. Now, there's a few missions that I can cover the essentials of before diving deeper. These are missions that require you to set fires, missions that require you to damage crew and modules, and missions that involve arty. Let's begin with internal modules and crew. We need to understand a few things. Firstly, internal modules have hit points. Secondly, when a shell hits an internal module or crew member, there is a certain percentage chance that it does or does not take the module damage of that shell. This mechanic is called a saving throw. Now, the relationship between module damage and alpha damage. This relationship is not linear. Take the largest gun in the game, the FE-215B183. 1,150 alpha damage, 248 module damage. Whereas the Panzer II, 11 alpha damage, 27 module damage. The 183 does less than 25% of its alpha as module damage. The Panzer II does 245% of its alpha as module damage. This relationship is important to understand when we consider the best approach to knocking out modules. I'll spare you any further numbers and simply state that the best way to knock out modules is a fast firing, low alpha damage tank. You do not want to try and complete these missions with the biggest gun available or with primarily splashing HE. Another major reason for this leads us tidily on to the next broad mission topic, setting fires. We now know how to best damage and knock out crew and modules. Now, two modules, when they are destroyed or hit, will or can result in a fire, the engine and the fuel tanks. Now, the thing about fire damage is it does module damage. Far more and far wider module damage than you can ever do by shooting. In brief, the best way to knock out modules and crew members is to set a tank on fire. And the best way to set a tank on fire, as we've just covered, is a fast firing, low alpha damage tank repeatedly firing into the engine or fuel tanks. I kid you not, if you tank a fast firing, low alpha tank, target every possible shot into the fuel tank and engine area, one single fire. 
right? It gets you two, three, four, five different modules or crew knocked out. Training Deadeye on your gunner for the additional 3% chance to damage modules and crew. Take that fast firing tank and set those flames a burning. It's the best way to do both the fire missions and the module damage missions. That logic covered, let's address the final broad topic, which is artillery missions. Were it not for the nation limitations of the second campaign missions requiring the use of other arty, I would only ever consider using two arty for these missions. Those being the FV-3805 with the stock gun and the Conqueror gun carrier. The FV for general stunning missions, and the CGC for stunning multiple targets. Both of these arty, being British, have arcs that send the shells very high, allowing more viability of hitting enemies behind cover. The CGC has a huge splash radius, and using the stock gun on the FV-305 grants you stun capability, great gun arc, insane rate of fire, good accuracy and aim time, all on a moderately mobile platform. It is the best art in the game for completing these missions by far. For recommendations outside of these RT, the only vehicles really worth considering are the M53 and M55 and the Object 261, which are both fantastic RTs in their own right. They're just simply inferior for purpose. All that said, let's look into missions. Now, for the first campaign, the missions are the same throughout, uh, just with increasing numerical requirements for each reward tank and a more stringent tier limitation. Therefore, here I'll only be covering the difficult 260 missions. But rest assured that any advice I provide or tips I give apply equally to the lower count counterparts of these missions. Learn how to do LT-15 for the 260, and you can do it for the stock 4. First mission set, Object 260 LT-15. Damage caused, including damage caused with your assistance, must total 8,000 HP. Secondary condition, enable your allies to destroy five enemy vehicles by spotting them or immobilizing them by destroying their tracks. Win the battle. My many scout guides and ultimate light tank guide in particular can assist you here. I'll link those up in the top right and the Learn What the Tanks playlist. For my money, the AMX 13105 is the best vehicle for this mission. Being a tier 10 light tank, it forces tier 10 opponents, meaning more health for you to exploit. And the dangerous autoloader that you wheel can allow you to pick up over a thousand damage in a very short space of time indeed. It has the camo, it has the mobility, it has the potent firepower in the late game. It's my personal preference. The EBR 105 is of course a possibility if you're Filthy. I would either go for tier 8 or tier 10 in this mission. I would not touch tier 9 at all. The reason why you want to play the lower tier is that the advantages of light tanks are very pronounced at around tier 6 to 8, with the view range opposing them being much more limited. Like 400 meters of view range at tier 8 is good, at tier 10 it's average. My choice at tier 8 would either be the ELC Even 90 for its immense camo, or believe it or not, the Senlag, which you can pick up in the Bond shop for its astounding base 410 meters of view range paired with adequate camo. It also has fetching HE shields, which make its counter scout abilities and damage pickup potential at the end game quite good. MT-12. Set an enemy vehicle of the same tier or higher on fire. Cause 3000 HP of damage. The only limitation here is being restricted to a certain tier based on the tank that you're going for. So I'll quickly go over the best low alpha damage fast firing tanks that you can use at each tier for setting fires. And remember, to set fires, just get to the side or near of a vehicle, target the engine and fuel tanks. Set a couple of fires and you're done. So for tier 4, if you want a fire and premium, you can use the VK2001D, which is a German's collector's, German collector's medium tank. Use this with the 5cm gun, it's rapid fire, it's got adequate mobility to flank, excellent premium penetration, good choice. Uh, backup choice here is the Russian T28 with the 57mm Zis 4. 
Four gun. At tier 5, no real question here, use the Lashen T34 again with the 57mm ZIS 4. It's got amazing DPM, good mobility. At tier 6, the Conwell or the Skoda T25. The Conwell has fantastic mobility and a good rapid fire gun, and the Skoda has a low alpha autoloader for pummeling those fuel tanks and engines. Tier 7, I recommend the Comet or the Leo. The Leo with the 7.5mm gun. 7.5cm. Both of these vehicles combine mobility, gun depression, and that module shaking, low alpha, high rate of fire. And they are both good choices. Tier 8, the Kampanzer RH07 if you have it. If not, you can use the P44 Pantera. At tier 9, try the E50 with its 88mm gun. Fantastic DPM, good night of fire, low elf. Failing that, that Chat 25 AP has great potential here. In addition, Type 61 with the stock gun is viable as well. At tier 10, the good old Bat Chat 25T or TV. ET 5051 are perfect for task here. Being able to rack up multiple hits on a module very rapidly when given the opportunity. Take any of these vehicles, pounce on any chance you get to be at the side or near of an enemy, and pummel every shot into the fuel tanks and the engine. You'll have these missions done in no time. Worth noting as well, if you set a tank on fire in your autoloader, wait until the fire goes out then start firing again. It will give you a better chance of setting that vehicle on fire twice. MT-15 calls 3.5k damage to enemy tank destroyers. Cause damage to eight enemy vehicles, win the battle. One of the best tips I can give here is to create a platoon with other players and have them play tank destroyers. The matchmaker will attempt to equal the tanks and this will increase the chances of you having more tank destroyers on the enemy team for you to do damage to. As for my tank pick, you want something with good mobility and swift damage output potential. Mobile autoloaders should be the choice here. Batch at 25T, TVP, Skoda, T50, Batcher AP, Standard B, those sorts of tanks who can find a target but they want to damage or tank out and get that damage very, very quickly. Those sorts of tanks are perfect here. Heavy tank number four. Damage or destroy internal modules or crew members totaling at least six modules or crew members. All right, once again here, best picks for setting fires and thus the best picks for damaging modules. Tier four, douche wagon with the five centimeter gun. Tier five, KV-1 with the 57 millimeter gun. Tier six, the Polak tank with the 76 millimeter gun. Tier 7, the IS with the 85 or 100mm, or the T29 with the 90mm. Tier 8, the IS-22 with the 85mm, the AMX-5100, or the Carnarvon. Tier 9, T-54E1, or the Conqueror with its 32 pounder gun. And at Tier 10, the AMX-50B, or the T-57 Heavy. With all of these tanks, just get to the side or on air, put every shot into fuel tanks and engine. Heavy tank number 12. Have total damage blocked by armor equal to or exceeding three times the hit points of your vehicle caused 3k damage. This one causes people a huge amount of difficulties. A couple of uh, pendant techniques to be aware of. Don't use improved hardening when doing this mission as it will increase the mission requirements. Same with the bonus hit points from field modifications. Stock targets can also be useful as they reduce the hit points of a vehicle. Now there are unquestionably some greatly superior vehicles for doing this mission. Uh, number one on that list, the VK101P. This is a Tech 20 Tier 8 German Heavy, great armor, weak spot that looks weaker than it is. It's a fantastic pick and probably the best. The Amex M449 can also complete this mission using the lower plate bait that I discussed in my Be Unstoppable video. This tank is available in the Bond Shop. VK7501K is also a good choice here. Heavy Tank 15. Cause, receive, and block a total of 14 hate. 14k HP of damage. Cause 25% of the total damage caused by your team win the battle. Again, a problematic one. One thing to keep in mind here is that this mission's primary condition 
includes damage taken. Therefore, it is possible to complete this mission's primary condition in certain circumstances by throwing yourself off the nearest cliff and dying. Comedy. Big old heavy tanks are best here, lots of hit points to spend, lots of armor to block. The mouse, E100 or IS4 would be my main choices here. SPG-11. Stun three enemy vehicles with a single shot twice. For this mission, the Conqueror gun carriage is doubtless superior. Excellent gun arc for hitting tanks in town environments when they're clustered up, and fantastic splash radius. T-92 is of course an option, but it's inferior to the CGC simply because of its gun arc. SPG-14. Stun enemy vehicles for 180 seconds in total. Allies must cause 1000 HP of damage to enemy vehicles immobilized by you. FV-3805 stock gun, no other worthwhile option. TD-5 calls five times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. Here I'll go through the best picks for completing this mission at each tier. Tier 4, the Hetzer with the Derp Gun. Tier 5, the Panzer SFL. Tier 6, the Besetto with the 102-40. Tier 7, the T34-2GFT. Tier 8, IHM Borsig with Either gun, but the 150 is memes with heat, uh, Changnia tier, or Udez 03. All good options. Tier 9, Waffenschlager Panzer 4, FV 4005 Conway, or the STR V 103 0. And at tier 10, the 015, FV 4005 Fosch B, or STR V 103 B. My personal pick here would be uh, for doing this mission at tier 8. Borsig, Chalinitir, Yudez, good chance in my book. TD10. Cause 4k of damage while remaining unspotted at the moment when the damage is caused. For this one, it's prudent to use vehicles that do over a thousand damage per shot, just to reduce the amount of shots, the amount of shots we need to connect. Generally speaking, when you're connecting shots at distance, you're not able to pressure the enemy to uh, put multiple shots in, so we want alpha damage here. FV215B183 or FV4005 or Jagdpanzer E100 would be my picks here. Optional uh, Grail 15 as well. Now onto the second campaign. Now remember that these missions are no longer limited by class. Instead, they're limited by the nations that you can play. Meaning that you can play any class, but it has to be from a particular nation. Uh, of course, there is still the tier limitation as well, which I'll cover. So, missions for the Excalibur. These permit you using tiers 6 to 10. And they can be completed over any number of games. Starting off with the Union, which allows you to use tanks of China or Russia, or the USSR. Union 9 causes two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. For this mission, no question, use the object 416 with the stock turret. Said turret gives you only 1,100 hit points, and you can still use the top gun. The top gun has 330mm of pen with heat, get yourself into a tier 10 game, play as an opportunistic sniper, you have this mission done in no time. Or well, that's what I would do, were it not for the fact that you can do this mission in... S51 LOL Union 12 Block two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. Good options here are the KV4, STI, 257, Object 705, or IS4. Don't use a Chinese tank for this, for God's sake. Union 15. Receive the first class badge five times, with the secondary to acquire ace tankers. When looking into uh, what tanks to acquire first class or ace tanker badges in Watch Garage, that I'll link in the description is a very helpful resource because it tells us which tanks require the least base XP in order to acquire ace. Best choices here currently are tanks like the WZ-131G, the T-34-2GFT, and the WZ-111-1GFT. Also, the SU-152 and the Object 268. 
The Object 268 is shockingly easy to ice here, requiring only 1049 XP for it. But my personal choice for completing this mission would be the SU-105 with its 152mm gun loaded with heat. 250mm of dirt pen at tier 7, you'd be able to lack up aces in it fairly easily, and you'll have a load of fun at the same time, so it's a good choice in my book. Moving on to missions for the block. These permit you using German or Japanese vehicles. Block 14. Block two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. Best tank to use here is without question the VK-101P. Block 15. Earn a total of 8 rewards in the Battle Heroes category or Epic Medals. Secondary condition, earn a total of 2 rewards in the Battle Heroes category or Epic Medals. The easiest Battle Heroes to farm in my mind would be Patrol Duty, Scout and Defender slash Invader. My money, here, take the RU251. Set it up for full spotting. Uh, in my opinion, it's best for farming these. Other candidates are the Hawk 12, Hawk 30, M4190, um, and it's worth joining these missions considering your interaction with bases. For example, perhaps holding fire, letting the enemy team accumulate more cap points so that you can get a defender medal is an option, as well as if you can cap the enemy base to get an invader, that also is a uh, Battle Heroes medal. If you want to see all of the awards that are classified as Battle Heroes or Epic, simply go into your service record and click on Awards. On to the Alliance. These permit vehicles that are Polish, British or American. Alliance 15. Receive the Mastery Badge First Class or higher. Receive the Ice Tanker. Again, we look at what garage to get an idea of the easiest Polish, British and American tanks to ace from Tier 6 and up. These include the 40TP, T25-2 or M41 Walker Bulldog. Personally, for me, I choose the Walker Bulldog, um, but that's mostly a playstyle thing. On to the Coalition, check French. Ita Italian and Swedish vehicles. Coalition 2. Damage or destroy internal modules or crew members totaling at least 36. Here, as always, we're looking to set fire, so we're looking for low alpha, high fire rate, good mobility. My picks here would be the AMX light and medium tank line, Skoda T25, Skoda T50, TVP, Pantera, Standard B, any of these. Just focus on the fuel tank and engine shots and you'll be perfect. Coalition 15. Earn a total of 8 rewards in Battle Heroes and or Epic Medals. Earn a total of 2 rewards in the Battle Heroes or Epic. Here again we're looking for Patrol Duty, Scout, Defender or Invader Medals. My picks here would be the EBR 105, AMX Dodine 105, even 90 or Char Emily. Now, on to missions for the Chimera. These missions permit you using tiers 7 to 10. In addition, these missions must be done in one game. Starting with the Union, so China or USSR. Union 8. Internal modules or crew members totaling at least 5. Once again, fast firing, low alpha, mobile tanks and get a fire. My picks here are the LTTB, the LTG, KV-13, or T-44. Union 12. Stun enemy vehicles for 140 seconds in total. Any of the Russian arty with their stock guns can do this. Doubtless though the Object 261 is absolutely the best choice here. Union 15. Cause, receive, and block a total of 10,000 damage. Cause 20% of the total amount of damage caused by your team win the battle. Again, do remember that you can kill yourself to complete the primary condition here, which is funny. Picks here, Object 430U, 705A, 268 version 4, or IS-4. Now onto the block, which permit you using German or Japanese vehicles. Block 2. Internal modules or crew members totaling at least 5, cause 2000 HP of damage. Again, rapid fire, low alpha, good mobility, setting fires. Choices here are the RU251, Kampanzer 07RH, E50 with the stop gun, stop gun, 
Type 61 with, I say stock gun on the E50, 88 millimeter on the E50, or the Type 61 with its stock gun. All of those are viable. Block H, set an enemy vehicle of the same tier or higher on fire. Um, same ex exact thing. Block 9, block two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle, cause 2500 HP of damage to other vehicles. VK101P without question. Block 15. Cause a total of 3.5k damage to enemy TDs or heavy tank. Cause damage to 6 different enemy tanks, win the battle. Do remember if you can, platoon with other people playing TDs or heavies to increase your chances of meeting them. My best picks here are the 60TP E100 or Yak Panzer E100. Moving on to the Alliance, permitting vehicles on Poland, UK, USA. Alliance 8, cause four times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. Feel free to use RT for this one, M12 is most likely the best pick here, but almost any RT will work. Alliance 14, stun enemy vehicles for 140 seconds in total. FV-3805, stock gun, no better option. Alliance 15, cause 6.5k HP of damage to enemy vehicles. Best option by far here is the T-57 Heavy. Best DPM on any heavy tank in the game. Powerful autoloader, recent buff. You get 6.5k damage in this thing in no time. As for picking up kills, well, it's an autoloader. It's kind of what it does. On to the Coalition, France, Czech, Sweden, Italy. Coalition 6. Cause damage seven times to enemy vehicles that are of the same tier as your vehicle or higher by shooting. Keep in mind with this mission that you can just fire HE at any tank and if you hit armor, you are guaranteed to do at least one hit point of damage. Um, I say hit armor, that's as in not the tracks or the gun. We proved this when we killed an E100 with a load of T1 Cunninghams. Video links, well, there. So here, simply use a fast firing, accurate tank, uh, because then you can just, if you need to do damage, you can just fire HE um, at something. My pick for this would be the Leo with the 75 centimeter gun. Centimeter? God damn. Coalition 15. Damage caused, including damage caused with your assistance, must total 8,000 HP. Enable your allies to destroy three enemy vehicles by spotting them or destroying their tracks. Also win the battle. My picks here, again, refer to my um, Water Tanks, Learn Water Tanks playlist for help. I've got a lot of videos covering light tanks. Best pick, AMX 1 at uh, 13105, batch at 25T with the scout set up, uh, ELC even 90. And of course the EBR 105, but I really don't buy the EBR. Now onto missions for the 279E. These missions permit you using tanks of tier 8 to 10, and for these missions they must be completed over a certain amount of games. Now do note, for these missions, as I say, they have to be completed over a certain number of games. So it's prudent to have your first game be a great start. For example, if I were attempting to complete Union 13, which requires me to get a Top Gun in 2 out of 12 games. If I don't get a Top Gun in my first game, game number 1, I'd come back into this mission after I failed to get a Top Gun, and I would restart it. Because I don't want to get a Top Gun in my 6th game, and then only have 6 games left to get another one before the mission fails. No, I want my first game to be a Top Gun, so I basically have 11 more games to get another Top Gun, right? Likewise, Union 1, where we have to get 2,000 HP of spotting damage on average over 5 games. I want my first game to be at least 4,000 spotting damage to give me a good start and some breathing room. So I'd activate this mission, go and play a battle, and if it's less than that, then I come back to this mission and when you set it until my first game is a good one. This is something you should be doing for all 279E missions. To start off, Union, so China and USSR. Union 1. Enable your allies to cause an average of 2k spotting or tracking over 5k battle. 
5k? My god. 5 battles. For this, I consider things like the LT432 or T54 lightweight. The M41D is also capable here. Do remember that you can track enemies to help this mission complete as well. In addition, pay attention to the maps that you have blacklisted as you want open maps as much as possible here. Union 2. Cause two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle, three battles in a row. Remember, you can use RT for this, so take your pick. Or Object 416, stock turret for heat. Easy game. Union 4. Block an average of eight enemy hits over five games. IS-4 can do great here, angled at 50 degrees. 257 can also troll if you know how to use it. KV-4 if you're lucky. Uh, 268 version 4, of course, is perfect. And believe it or not, the 112 can actually get this done quite well, surprisingly. So if you have that, maybe consider it. Union 7. Damage or destroy internal modules or crew members totaling at least 20 modules, 3 games in a row. Here, again, rapid fire, good mobility, uh, low alpha damage. LTTB, TIF for lightweight, object 140, LT432, train deadeye on your gunner, target engines, wablano. Union 10. Block 15,000 HP of damage in 10 games. Object 257, IS-4, 705A, uh, uh, 268 version 4. Easy. Remember, if you have your first game, just be one where you block 6k damage, you're already almost halfway there, so really not a tough mission. Union 14, stun an enemy vehicle 80 times over 10 games. Pick the Object 261 for this. Short of that, any of the preceding RT line with their stock guns would give you the best chance. Union 15. Receive the Master on your badge, first class or higher, three battles out of 20. Second gen, you can see the Ace Tanker, three battles out of 20. Best choices here are currently tanks like the uh, WZ-131G, T-34-2G-FT, WZ-1111-1G, FT, uh, the SU-152, and the Object 268, uh, once again. Uh, my choice, again, would be the SU-152 with its 152. I'm going to just cut in right here because clearly I was having a massive brain fart when I was recording this section. Uh, use the Object 268. Uh, very easy ice and fun tank as well. So 268 is my recommendation here. And I would make sure that I start out this mission with an ace tanker in my first game so that I have 19 games to try for two more ace tankers. On to missions for the block, so Germany, Japan. Block 2. Earn the Shelter Room for Ward, 4 battles out of 10. This mission is actually very, very difficult. Uh, difficulty is not so much that you have to block over your hit points in damage, but, but you have to survive to get the medal, so essentially you have to win, more or less. Recommended here, VK101P or OHO. Block 5. Caused at least 3k damage on average over 10 games. This is very difficult, as it's basically averaging 3000 damage, right? Um, make sure you start off here with a 5 or 6k damage game if you can. Recommended here, STB-1, Leopard-1, Grail-15. Block 15. Master on your badge, first class or higher, three your battles out of 20. Or Ace Tanker, three your battles out of 20. My best choice here, believe it or not, Yang Panther 2. It's powerful, flexible, and with a very low Ace requirement. It's the best pick here. On to the Alliance. USA, UK, Poland. Alliance 4. Cause 30,000 HP of damage over 10 games. This is just block 5 again. It's averaging 30,000 damage over 10 games. Again, make sure to start with a good 5, 6k plus damage game for this set, this mission. 
My picks are tanks like the T57 Heavy, Super Conk, uh, 60TP, CS63, and perhaps the FE4005, if you're feeling lucky. Alliance 5, starting a total of 40 different enemy vehicles. FV 2805 stock gun, no question. Alliance 6, earn the Confederate Award, two battles out of seven. Neat little thing about the Confederate Medal that it doesn't tell you, you essentially have to win. Because in order for Confederate to be awarded, the vehicles you hit, or critical hit, then have to be destroyed for you to get the medal. Use the FE out of 4 for this and just spank everything you see once and hope for the best. Alliance 7. Average damage blocked should be over 2,000, over 10 battles. T95 or T110E3 for this one, just YOLO for 10 games and people will give you this mission while they're trying to kill you. Easy game. Alliance 8, internal modules or crew members totaling at least 25 over 10 games. Again, fires. Picks are the T-50 in the heavy, t 50 one stock gun T-69, stock gun T-49, um, Set 7-1 with a B-barrel gun, Chang'e tier, just Attack any of these tanks, target fuel tanks and engines. Make sure you reset this mission every game you don't get a fire and then start it on that. But start it and continue it after that. You get that fire in that first game. Alliance 9. Stun enemy vehicles for 1,300 seconds in total over 10 battles. FV 3 out of 5. Stock gun, no substitutes. Alliance 10. Cause two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle, four battles out of seven. Keep in mind you can use RT for this, so M40, uh, 43 or M53, 55, done and dusted. Alliance 14, cause damage to 30 different enemy vehicles in seven battles. Again, one for the stock gun, FV 3 out of five, easy as you like. Just hit everything you see once. Alliance 15, First class or higher, 3 battles out of 20. Ace tanker, 3 battles out of 20. My pick for the ace here would be the M41 Walker Bulldog due to its very low ace requirements. And do remember, make sure you start your 20 games with an ace. Just reset the mission if you don't get one. On to missions for the Coalition French, Czech, Swedish, Italian vehicles. Coalition 3 earned a total of 5 rewards in the Battle Heroes category or Epic Medals in 10 battles. EBR 105, Farm Scout and Patrol Duty Medals, easy, same with any other Scout, uh, but the EBR will give you the best chance. Coalition 4. Damage or destroy internal modules or crew members totaling at least 25 modules in 10 battles. Again, here we're setting fire, so French autoloaders uh, of any variety above tier 8 work. Uh, Skoda T27, Skoda T50, TVP, Pantera are all good choices here. Get to the side or near of an enemy vehicle, set them on fire, you're done. Coalition 5, block 30 enemy hits in 10 battles. AMX M449 with a lower plate bait. Uh, you can buy the AMX M449 in the bond shop. Um, AMX M451 or AMX M454. Coalition 8. Earn the Patrol Duty Awards. Two battles out of 12. EBR 105. There's nearly not much competition here. Um, it could also go in a pimped out ELC Steven 90, uh, Scouting Batch at 25T, Chai MLE or AMX 105. Uh, make sure to go and reset after, if your first game is not a patrol duty medal. That way you only need to essentially get one in the remaining 11 games. Coalition 13. Cause two times more damage than the hit points of your vehicle. Three battles out of seven. Again, one to do with RT, the Lorraine 155-51, and most likely the best pick here. Failing that, the UDES 03 would be probably the best actual tank here. Coalition 14. Be the top player in the battle by damage caused. Three battles out of five. T57 Heavy here is top pick for big damage. Um, 
Amex 50B is also good. VZ55 is top as well. Any of those will have you laughing. And to finish, Coalition 15. First class or higher, three new battles out of 20. Ace tanker, three new battles out of 20. Easiest aces here are the Rhinos Lante, AMX AC48, STRV81 or the Pino Victoria, and the Udes 03. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Check out the resources that I have in the Learn What the Tanks playlist. Uh, if you're interested in fitness, making health changes, making good, good gains, then check out my fitness website in the description, uh, workoutways.co.uk. Put a lot of work into that. I think you'll find it interesting. Um, other than that, nothing else to cover. Uh, let's do a giveaway again, shall we? Let's see. Your best, your best sports related story. Tell me something funny about when you play the sport. One that makes me giggle the most, I shall award uh, 2,000 gold. Let's do 2,000 gold this time. Uh, just leave your name and the server that you play on at the end of the comment. One that makes me laugh the most, I'll award 2,000 gold. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content from me and farewell. Skits are legendary, brutal stuff, like he does a thing, and screws it up. But the world of tanks is kindergarten, childish software, real men play armored warfare, BVE. And his business model is actually insane, making money off of stuff but doesn't have to play a game. Also, his leadership skills are dope as fuck. He says, YOLO up, folks, and folks, YOLO.